world changes soon can get a doobie on a plane but there's uzis in our schools every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too what you expect from the kids who went to hooters after school we're all triggered and defensive we're all racist and we're sexist we all grew up watching south park how are we offended now being fat is beautiful name a thing that you can welcome do. to the red pill sports entertainment show i am your host albert apache and as usual brought to you by open source self-defense fitness and grappling all right guys let's go ahead and get into the show so first and foremost please guys remember goal is to get to that thousand so we can do some mobile stuff as far as subscribers it really helps out if you like and you subscribe and share the video comment down below whether you agree or disagree it really helps it out so that we can get to them those subscribers and do some fun stuff uh, live streaming mobile and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get into the show today we're going to be talking about good old jakey paul and exactly why on one hand he is right about some things wrong about other things but in particular why i think most fighters are disrespecting him most fighters don't want to give him any kind of credit and why I think that he's being very disingenuous about a ton of things he's saying, whether it be about fighters and caring about fighters and fighter pay, or whether that be uh, his critique of the UFC business model and how fighters should get paid more and things of that nature. Because in essence, he's taking advantage of the exact same uh, structure of the system. So we're going to get into that. So without further ado, let's listen to Jakey and then we'll break down some of his comments from the Bad Guy Inc. podcast. Let's listen up. Well, I, I hope in hindsight you see it as a compliment because when you don't get you don't get a whole lot of times in life to surprise people. You surprised me, but you surprised a lot of people. I mean, Dana's on that list. Askren's on. The entire 2008 Olympic team is on that list. You surprised a lot of people. By the way, you did it pretty quick. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that was what was going to happen. Like, I said it the whole entire time. I said first or second round. And I think at this point, you know, people are starting to realize that what I'm saying in these pre-fight buildups uh, comes to fruition every single time. And it's not by luck or, or, or by chance. Um, and so I love when people are doubting me. It just add, adds, uh, you know, fuel to my fire and it motivates me more and i have the ace up my sleeve like that that that's what people don't get here and a lot of people don't want to give me credit because you know my profession was uh being a disney channel actor or youtuber before i got into boxing and so i don't think people can comprehend like that i that i love fighting that i actually can't fight Okay, so first and foremost, I don't think that Jake Paul really understands why he's not getting the respect. It has nothing to do with his boxing skill. Well, that's not completely true, but hear me out. The reason why he's not getting the respect that he thinks he deserves is because he does not understand or realize or have the self-awareness that he's leapfrogging a ton of fighters that are better than him due to his platform and to his celebrity it has nothing to do with his skill set and that's why he's getting disrespected and i think that that's something that's key that we have to keep in mind and uh you know it's something that he's going to have to understand if he really wants to make a real career and be an actual boxer in the sense that that's what people think of him as but let's continue and uh see what else is guy has to say speaking of that fight let me ask you a real direct question were you embarrassed with the production of thriller or was that cool like when you're in the back and you got all this stuff going on you're going man i'm here to box or was that cool i watched it i gotta tell you i was a little surprised some of the stuff that they did we had i mean there was like a slap contest i'm waiting for you and ben to get in there so i can tell everybody i was right i thought ben was going to clean you up in fairness what was it like for you man were you what'd you think of the production i think a lot of fight fans who you know have watched all the ufc events who watch you know typical boxing they looked at the event and was were like this is awful like we don't want all this extra stuff and so i see that angle because i'm a fight fan of myself and i was like this is too much music too much stuff going to hollywood people 
and they seem to like it and they seem to enjoy the, the madness and the chaos. Okay, so I think right here is where Jakey starts losing some people. Um, why? Because, you know, he's constantly built himself as this, you know, uh, no BS kind of guy. Uh, this is his brand, and he tells it like it is, and he's going to, you know, he doesn't care if he hurts your feelings, this, that, and the other. And yet he went into a very politicky type answer. Well, I understand how, you know, regular uh, fight fans wouldn't like that. But, you know, these other more casuals, oh, they, they were really into it. And nobody was into it, bro. Let's just be real. Nobody was into that idiotic trash before the fight. Nobody was into that. Now, this would have been a perfect opportunity uh, had Jakey, you know, had any cojones right here, right? If he had any kind of cojones, this would be where he could have said, spoke up and said, you know, it'd have been great if we'd have had more fights on the card. It'd have been great if we'd have had some young fighters, if we'd have got some young fighters paid. But see, he's really not genuine in any of that concern about fighters making money or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, he's, he's not concerned with that at all. It's just another shtick. It's just another spiel to get himself paid essentially and that's all that is um but let's continue to listen to what jakey has to say and uh see what other you know tidbits we can gather that you signed a one time and you you could actually go fight anywhere you want is that accurate yeah that's accurate yeah i'm a i'm a free agent and um look i think that's the way it should be with all fighters like it it just sucks to see these young kids, these young boxers, these young UFC champions get tied up into these contracts where they're owned by the promoter. They're owned by Dana White and they're not getting fair pay. They're not getting the fights they want. This is a, it's a big problem. Like how is, how are, how is uh, Ariana Celeste, I think is her name. Like how, she's a ring girl, right? Like yep. how does she make more money than some of the fighters in the octagon who are risking their lives okay here we go so this really really upset me because this is completely disingenuous on jakey's part and it's very uh, uh telling of what a charlatan he really is um uh, now do some of these fighters uh get paid less than ariani um, most likely, yes. Maybe, maybe they do. I don't even know if it's from the UFC, though. But let's be real. Those fighters, you don't know who they are. But you know who Ariane is, right? That's the difference. And, and he, this is why it's so disingenuous and why I say that Jakey is a charlatan is because why should Jakey be getting paid any more than anybody else when nobody even really knows who the hell he is if it wasn't for his branding outside of boxing outside of boxing is where his brand is built he's not known for being some fantastic boxer that's not how he built his brand yet he's still getting paid better than guys who have spent a career a lifetime in the combat sports how is that okay they've risked their lives many more times than he has so what he's really trying to do here is he's trying to use other fighters and stand on the shoulders and the backs and step on all these other fighters that have come before him and actually paid their dues in order to make his case as to why he should leapfrog these same fighters because he's already leapfrogged them in money right but why he should leapfrog all these fighters into prominence right and respect without actually putting in the work without actually fighting uh the guys that he should be fighting now it's also a blatant disrespect and again disingenuous right because he's downplaying the hard work uh the time the energy 
that it takes to build a brand. Look, I have not been doing this YouTube channel forever. I've been doing it for a couple of years. And I can say that building a brand from nothing is ridiculously tough. It is not easy. Building something from scratch is not easy. So he's, he, he's, but he's disrespecting that idea. The idea that the UFC is value within itself because it's a brand. Just like the NFL is a brand. Okay? And there's a certain level of value to it. There is a certain level of value to the UFC because the reality is fighters are going to come and they're going to go. Fighters are going to have very short careers, very similar to the NFL. They're going to have very short careers. On average, the average NFL career is very short. On average, the average fighter career is very short. Most fighters don't fight for 10, 15, 20 years professionally. All right? The window for a fighter is very short, and this is why. And he knows this. He understands this. He understands that building brand is very important. So a lot of times, these guys that are not making money, the reason why they're not making as much as an Ariane Celeste is because they do not have a brand of their own. They are piggybacking on the UFC brand, and that's why. And he understands this. So super disingenuous on Jakey's part. Look, Jake. Look, little Jakey boy. Stop standing on the backs of guys that came before you and disrespecting them. How about that? I've said it before. Anyone, anytime, any place. Sure. Uh, the only the only thing that is slowing me down right now, quite honestly, is the lawyers and managers and CEOs of of the big media companies. I wish these guys could come into the gym and I could take them out one by one. But we have to wait, set it all up, do the press conferences, do the rigmarole, do the training camps, and just. Uh, make it make it an event. Um, otherwise, I would fight all of these people if I could. Jakey, absolutely full of garbage, full of garbage. Everything that just came out of his mouth is trash, and Jakey knows it. I mean, look, the reality is he will probably never allow Mike Perry back into his gym, right? Because we all know what would happen. Mark, Mike Perry would not go in there and spar rounds. He would go in there and kick his ass. Right? Because Mike Perry tried to be, you know, a good guy. He tried to be a good sparring partner. Um, appreciate the training, the open door. Hey, thanks. You know, oh, yeah, he kicked my ass. You know, that's not sane. I mean, no respect, right? Zero respect for any fighters that came before him. Like I said. Now, Jakey can sit here and talk all this mad smack that he wants to talk, but the reality is, is that he won't even fight a halfway decent boxer, an actual boxer. He wants to cherry pick. He says all this anytime, any place, anywhere. Number one, it's not a fight, right? It's a boxing match. It's a boxing match. And, and that's fine. I, I understand that. It's a combat sport. It's all good. Okay. That being said, not only does he want to cherry pick the rule set while he's sitting there talking tough, he also wants to cherry pick his opponents. Seriously? Seriously, you're going to come at me with anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere when you've cherry picked the fighters that would best match where you're at in your career? Give me a break. Give me a break, Jakey. You and Polly, you guys go suck your thumbs in the corner. Be happy with your YouTube fame that you have and all the money that you've made. It's great. It's awesome that you've done that. But please, don't sell us this bill of goods that you're some kind of tough guy. That you're some kind of, uh, you know, uh, regulator. And that... You'll fight anybody, anywhere, any place, and the only thing slowing you down is that we have to make a promotion out of it because people won't let their guys come into your gym 
and give you spars and give you hard rounds because we both know we both know jakey we both know if you kept your gym doors open and you allowed anybody to come in there and spar with you and they went hard at you we both know what would happen we both know you're not going to allow that to happen we both know it so why don't you stop and and if i'm wrong and if this somehow hits the ears of jakey then prove me wrong jake prove me wrong allow me to pick your next three fights and if you can come out of those three fights unscathed unscathed in other words without a blemish on your record without getting knocked down without getting pieced up then you can talk about any time any place and and why not put up your money why not put up your money because you sure want to talk a lot about dana white and this that and the other while you're trying to get into the ufc's pockets but what about you jakey what about you are you gonna put up your money are you gonna put your money where your mouth is are you actually going to give a young up-and-coming prospect a shot to take your shine? Are you going to do that and build his name off of your brand? Yeah, I thought not. Because it's cowardly. It's cowardly. We both know you're in this to build your brand. You're not in this to be a fighter. You're not in this to be a fighter. You're in this to build your brand. Otherwise, you would not cherry pick your opponents. If you really had a love and a passion for the sport, you would be fighting guys that were at your level. Skill wise. You wouldn't be cherry picking guys who don't train on a regular basis. That do not train boxing on a regular basis. All right, man. That's what I got for good old Jakey. Um, I think I'm going to let him close out the show if you want to wait around for that. But until then, guys, please remember, it really helps out for you to like and subscribe the channel. Share the content. Share the video. I appreciate it. And until next time, be practical. Be purposeful. Get fit with a purpose, guys. Anyone, anytime, any place. Schools, every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system. And now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race. It's my weight. It's because I'm a Christian. I hate the internet and anyone who has an opinion. And everybody angry if you say white. Okay, fine. Pass me the brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. Man, you are so stupid.